Who's pinched my polos? <laughs> <laughs> Megan Ruth, I'm a Canadian living in London, England, and I react to British things. So today I'm going to be reacting to series two, episode one of Porridge. I have reacted to the previous episodes already. If you want to watch those, I have a playlist devoted to it. I'll post the link to that down below. Just like the majority of my reactions, this video will be edited. If you wanted to see the unedited reaction, I'll also post a link to my Patreon down below. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me, especially my top tier patrons, Joseph, Brian, Brees, Kane, Robin, Andy, Hypnobob, Chris, Emil, Julian, Steve-O, Patrick, Lloyd, Sean, Danny, Mark City 10, Hi Chris 1980, RG, and Bud. Let's just get started, shall we? I don't know quite how to put this, gentlemen, but there is a thief among us. There's <laughs> <laughs> nigh on 600 people in this prison, and I should think two thirds of them are in for stealing something. <laughs> yeah, that's stealing on the outside, isn't it, Warren, eh? That's stealing against civilians. That's just a way of life as a living, isn't it? It's ordinary skullduggery, that is. The crime I'm talking about has been perpetrated within these walls. Because between you and me, I'm extremely dischuffed about all this. I mean, it's He's hard enough dischuffed. to pick up a bit of luxury, isn't it, in this neck of the woods? Did he just say dischuffed? Like chuffed, but the negative version. Chuffed is a British slang that I actually quite enjoy. I love the word chuffed. I think it's a really pleasant and... If words can be cute, I would argue that chuffed is a cute word. But I've never heard of dischuffed before. That's the first time I've heard dischuffed. Interesting. I was really looking forward to that, I wasn't. It's been some time now since they struck you off their little list, hasn't it, eh? After that regrettable incident with a laughing gas. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, in your own mind, you may not consider yourself a criminal, but to the ladies in question, it was no laughing matter, was it? <laughs> he is a good dentist, though. He did a lovely job on my bridge when the old one fell into the soup. He's quite right. Hey, who's pinched my polos? <laughs> right, come on in here. Make yourself as comfortable as possible. You're under British. Oh, McLaren. Hello. Make room for McLaren. Come on, shift up there, Luke. No reason to exclude me, you know, Fletch. Or nest together. Do you know who's missing? I, I realize I haven't seen him in a while, in, in a couple episodes, is Richard Beckinsale. I haven't seen his character. Maybe he was busy filming Rising Damp. Huh. Interesting. I wonder where he is. I wonder. The finger of suspicion points at everyone. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, could you let me go now, please? Which? Yeah, let him go. He's going to funny colour. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we have to live with the knowledge then that there is still a thief among us, right? Well, where did you get the pineapple in the first place? Pieces from the kitchen. <laughs> oh! The car. Oh, oh, oh. Cowboy clubs, <laughs> <laughs> clubs are friends of the West, sir. See, try as I might, I've been unable to obtain a copy of the current Home Office record. On your feet, Fletcher. <laughs> on your feet, the lot of you. <laughs> you do not write on the walls. Two, you obey all the rules. I do mock my words, Fletcher. It will not be tolerated. Uh, oh, there he is. Ah. Yes, God, but now what have you been up to, eh? I suppose butter wouldn't open your mouth. Yeah, that's a good idea. How much could you get in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> make waves, all right, God, but hands up. Hey, this in time, Mr. Make a get the part. Mm. All right, all right, I've done wrong. I'm inside. I've got that stigma to bear. And I will not steal. <laughs> all right, Johnny Jim. We'll say no more, shall we? For the present. <laughs> Good job he was clean, though, wasn't it? Good job he didn't look under me at. Uh, I feel like that's the most obvious place to look, though. It's a ginormous hat. It's like, obviously, that's where he's he's uh, keeping it. Like, a chef's hat is the prime place to put something that you want to steal. I, I thought that was obvious. So I saved all the matchsticks for you when you wanted to build that model of the cutty sock. <laughs> Who sat on it? <laughs> well, it was a pointless exercise anyhow, wasn't it? So he used chair legs, like I told you. <laughs> you stole all them nails for you from carpentry crasses so you could hang your pinups on the wall. Use the bloody shoe polish, here you are. <laughs> and don't use it all. You... What question is that then? Do you think I nicked your chunks? <laughs> <laughs> who knows who had them? 
Look, don't evade me, Fletcher. This is a critical point in our relationship. Yeah, I'm very, very grateful. And do you think I'd repay you by stealing your tin of nothing pineapple chunks? It's not even my favourite fruit. Here, here, here. <laughs> a thought never entered my head. Besides, when you was in the shower, I went through all your gear. <laughs> <laughs> a nice little scene there between the two of them actually it's a nice piece of dialogue there um trust is such a like it's such a tricky thing especially in prison my god how do you trust people in prison they've already broken the law once like i don't know i just i really like that scene uh. the sun rarely shines in my household oh dear <laughs> <laughs> want to get another window put in <laughs> I wasn't referring to the architecture. Oh dear, oh yeah. When one finds stolen tins of pineapple chunks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 it was the guards, the guards that took his chunks. Oh, okay. It wasn't an inmate, it was a guard. Oh, of course, of course. Well, what avoid mistakes, then I? You want to avoid finishing it because then you've got to decorate the room, which is why we're put here in the first place. <laughs> Wait for the paint, sir. Where is it? Stolen, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, dear. Well, I took it home and the wife did a gammon steak away. <laughs> oh, very nice. Oh, gammon steak away. Very nice. Oh, so it's been consumed, has it? So, well, I, I didn't intend to, you see, but the wife found it and uh, insisted that we ate it. There was very little I could do about it. Yeah. <laughs> Only eat it under protest. <laughs> under protest and on top of gammon. Yeah, yeah. very nice. <laughs> very nice. So the picture has changed entirely, isn't it? You're a felon, same as me, aren't you? Yes, well, I'm, I'm aware of the situation, Fletcher. Now, I would suggest that we purchase another tin of pineapple and... Uh... I can't just go trolling down to the village store at will, you know. I'm aware of that, Fletcher. Now, I should get it. Oh, well, you pay for it. <laughs> You're not going to escape, are you? It's a good lunch today. We've got jelly. <laughs> Steal a tin of pineapple chunks for Fletcher. Put your bag in there, boy. I want this floor clean and tidy. <laughs> to the pineapple chunks business. All right. Fetch Mr. Mackay from the mess hall. All right, everyone, stay where they are. You, where are you off to? I forgot where I was, sir. Get back where you were. <laughs> Arms up, everyone. Face front. Oh, come on, Mr. Abbott. We haven't got time for this. I've got to make a whole new tray of plastic. Get those arms up. Well, I can't get them up anymore, Mr. Appleton. I've got these elbows, you see. Oh, oh! Oh, 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 oh I see. Oh, OK. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Why is your hat standing to attention, Gopher? <laughs> Mr. Mackay? Hmm. All right, all right. <laughs> you do not move. <laughs> not any one of you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the tin that's missing. That's the one, sir. <laughs> Pull yourself together, Mr. Birchwood. <laughs> Get on with it. <laughs> Scares you a bit though, doesn't it? See you in church. <laughs> got it. <laughs> <laughs> What's got into you, Gobba? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's all. Right. <sighs> Let me come see you, Fletcher. Come see Gobba. I want you to know that I treat you all. With equal contempt. <laughs> what was all that about him? I think if you'll excuse me, I'll go for a shower. No. What? What? Uh, well, you've no need to, Fletch. But you're so clean. <laughs> no. What's got into you, Gobba? Hey? Hey? You lot walking no. this lad's mind. You know that, don't you? Let's 
Listen, listen. Oh, you won't need your towel. That is a plant. No, it's not. So turn the pineapple. <laughs> 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 Who knew a tin of pineapples could cause so much trouble, eh? Oh my god, that was genius. Perfect timing there. Uh, not obviously for Fletcher, but perfect timing. That was just comedic genius. Very well done to the writing team. Well done. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. See you next time. Bye.